Hi there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, or as some of you may know, as Heart Divine. And if you're new to my channel, know that I do monthly intuitive love forecast readings and astrology tidbits. And um, yeah, if that is something that you are interested in, so um, please consider subscribing. Um, that will be very much helpful and appreciated. Now for the month of October 2020 for a lot of you Taurus out there. Again, if I didn't mention it, this is for sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. Um, I feel that for the month of October, there's going to be a lot of shocks, a lot of surprises even um, that you are going to feel. There's going to be a lot of emotional outbursts even. And it could be a month wherein, you know, you might feel a lot of fear, a lot of hopelessness. But at the same time, it could be also a month wherein you feel that some form of action is finally happening that allows you to move forward like there are some form of answers going to be given to you and they might be a form of help so whether this uh, affects you in a positive or negative way i do feel and believe that you know it is going to trigger and create a shake up not to stress you and not to create stagnancy in your life, but actually um, these shakeups and frustration or whatever you may call it might be, um, it's like a middle point that allows you to, you know, take action and to, to feel as if your life is truly moving forward. So, um, yeah, I feel that, uh, you know, a lot of tours might need more clarity and information so i did combine my two my favorite deck you know the the usual rider weight along with a robin wood tarot so just to give us a more information into this so um the first card of the reading which you guys can see over here is the knight of cups and it is it has a combination along with the page of once as you guys can see and with pages and nights this has a lot to do with um, I would say not really communication but a form of message is coming in very strongly here it could be a particular person even or there could be something that you have been waiting on for quite some time now and um, there is a chance that you know uh, because we do have the three of swords beside that it could be something that you are feeling very frustrated feeling very down even it is you know in in combination with this two of pentacles so there is something that you have been waiting on and maybe nothing is happening or you feel hopeless into the situation if we do take a look at this in a love setup just like what we are doing right now this is definitely a, a form wherein you have been waiting for maybe some form of news or waiting for things to turn up in a very positive manner but um you might feel that nothing is really happening and that can really put a damper in you and beside that we do have the seven of swords and this could be a situation wherein because of some form of disappointment you might think in a very negative way you know uh, the seven of swords is not really necessarily a bad card though generally it is i just kind of feel that the seven of swords is always that point wherein you are thinking too much and you might be thinking more negatively um than usual you know you might feel that you have already changed you have grown you are already a grown-up man or a woman you have overcome a lot of difficulties in your past but this month you might you know you might come into terms of your own roots meaning you might act 
you know, um, pessimistic and negative if innately, if you are that type of person and you felt that you have already over overcome them, this could be a situation wherein you might, you know, re have a relapse, you know, feel as if you are experiencing something that you have, you know, experienced in the past. So it could be a lack of confidence it is going to be felt. It has a combination with the Hierophant and interestingly enough we do have two over here. So Hierophant has a lot to do with you know things. Uh, Hierophant card is a very first of all a psychic card. It also has a lot to do with education, teachings, and tradition. So I feel that you know maybe you're thinking you feel that you are thinking in a very logical manner but it might come into a point wherein you think too much to a point you you hurt yourself or you put a damper on things or being more negative than you should. So the next card we have here, the Page of Pentacles along with the Hierophant again. This could be a situation wherein, you know, you thought you have already overcome things. You thought you already have the answers that you're seeking. You might have thought that, you know, there should be a solution or a, a solution has already occurred in in whatever situation that you are in. So, you know, it's kind of a complicated kind of uh, a feeling because you feel that you already have overcome it, but for some reason, the happenings that might be, you know, that you might be feeling can be very frustrating and complicated because you do have a lot of mixed energies here. Like, it's like that point we're in things are just easier said than done and you know you think that there is magic that there is something that's really really good and then you come into terms of reality that things are not as easy as you thought it doesn't mean that you are going to be very much defeated or going to be very much um feeling uh it doesn't mean that there is disappointment in the air. I just kind of feel that this can, you know, shake you up in a very emotional level. Um, you know, feeling a lot of things in a very psychological and emotional um, standpoint. Um, the next card that we have over here is the Chariot along with the Knight of Pentacles. And this has the energy of, you know, you wanting to move forward or it could be a sense we're in you thought that everything is actually on the negative point but in reality you are actually moving forward especially since whenever a chariot card shows up in the reading it always give us an energy of change or travel movement in the air so you might feel that things are quite stagnant or maybe you might feel that problems keeps popping into your life but in reality um, there could be a situation that you know it's like um, it's that point wherein you thought everything is for naught but um, you're actually moving forward than you think <laughs> So it's just not going to be very much easy. It's maybe it's not something within your plans, but things are gradually moving forward, Taurus. We do have the three of wands along with the chariot card over here, which you know give us you know that feeling we're in. Yes, you might see some form of um, progress eventually. You know you have been waiting for this and. Do know that what you have been waiting will come and it might come within the month even. It's just that you are just going to be feeling the frustration. Frustration of not achieving what you want ahead of time or what you want whenever you need it. But do know that things are, you know, there's, there is really something that you can look forward to. And this is what the Three of Wands is all about. You know, it's always about something that um, is not with you, but you know that they're coming. There is something that you're seeking. Maybe you're seeing some form of results 
already, but you're in, you're not exactly there yet. And we have here the Six of Swords. Again, this is another moving forward card along with the Ten of Cups. So I would say that after a long struggle, you will feel happier. There is going to be a sense wherein you will feel that things are actually getting better right now. So there could be a new beginning of some kind. There could be a project that you are going to begin. We do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles all at the same time. However, I do feel that, you know, even though you are going to start something, maybe begin something, some form of venture is about to enter your life, you will also need to, you know, really um, see the, pr the pros and cons into the situation and making sure that you're actually checking everything, um, making sure you're not making any mistakes. Any decisions that you make, you are double-checking them, you know, not being impulsive in all of that because there is a chance that you can get impulsive also. Not to mention that we do have um, Mercury retrograde happening for the month of October. And for a lot of you Scorpios, sorry, a lot of you Taurus, you are going to be affected by that because it is opposite of you because Mercury retrograde is going to be in Scorpio, So, um, which is your counterpart. Now, we have here the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles along with the Eight of Swords. So this could be a sense of, you know, some form of happiness, maybe a help from a loved one or a family member might come for you. But at the same time, maybe it's not something that you want or maybe you're hesitating to ask help from your own family. This can also be a situation wherein some form of, you know, good news or happiness might come to your home or to whatever place that you are in. I just kind of feel that, you know, um, some form of good news is going to come to whatever situation in, in your life that is quite stagnant. So there's going to be answers. This can also be a situation wherein you, you, you actually receive some form of good tidings by doing nothing, which is very contradictory. So, um, yeah, so it, it gives that feeling wherein, you know, your patience is being rewarded, you know. Waiting can be a frustrating thing, but um, you will realize that there's actually, you know, good results that comes with it. And the last card that we have here is the Sun and the King of Cups. So there could be a special man in your life or it could be a... Uh, a person of authority might come to to give you to, to give you some form of help or to maybe they are you know the one that you all have been waiting for this can also be a situation wherein your emotional you know if you have been very emotional recently and maybe a bit negative this is really a good sign wherein you know this month something might happen or might occur in your life wherein your emotions is going to be lifted and you will feel happier remember we do have the sun here and the king of cups is a master of emotions and sometimes you know the king of cups alone can be um, self-defeating that kind of energy but along with the sun it gives me a feeling wherein your depression is going to be lifted there is going to be something that allows you to have more vigor in life allows you to to really fight for what you want you know it energizes you and makes you feel determined at the end of the day so it's like you're coming to a point of sadness and defeating nature and then it leads you to some form of you know some form of happiness in the air so i do believe that you know this is going to be a very good month for you communication might be a big factor remember we do have here the third house of communication mercury and cancer so i guess the only thing that um i will remind you guys is that um, with this in line with the astrology dice that we have over here, 
it could be that you know you're communic you might be communicating in a very emotional way maybe emotionally reacting to things could be something that you need to be guarded with but you know sometimes if you have been controlling yourself maybe that is what is necessarily to be done you know by expressing yourself in you know expressing everything without holding back might be something that can you know help you in the long run so that it would be interesting how that might play out now um let me just show you guys my lenormand card this is not really a new reading or additional reading but this is just you know to give us the uh, a general feel oh and sometimes I usually do this for confirmation of the reading, you know, since, you know, whatever predictions that I give using the tarot and if it goes in line with Lenorma, it, I kind of feel that the reading comes more stronger than ever doing like that. So here we do have the writer and the lily card. There could be news from an old person. It could be... Um, an author a person of authority it could be you might receive news about some form of um it could be from an old person or um some something to do with work maybe this can also be a situation you know of you know waiting for someone um just like i mentioned earlier there could be a message that um is coming to you after a long period of time or after some time but i kind of feel that this could be you know relating to a person that is mature we do have the snake over here you know gives me a feeling we're in the energy is you know can be there is something that can allow you to to reborn something can change it could be that you're facing a problem right now and you are, you know, it could be something to do with work even because we do have the bear over here also. So we do have the lily, snake, and bear. It, it makes me feel that, you know, there is a form of problematic situation coming in here. However, you know, um, with the bear and the, the house card, um, Maybe it has a lot to do with work, since I did check this in a very general way. It has a lot to do with work, or maybe um, some form of news. Because we do have the writer and the house, you know, is going to come to you. And that might give you um, some form of foundation or a backbone to, to start and do something again. So it could be either of those. So with the bear is actually a, something that's very strong. So whatever message that comes to you right now might give a big impact into your own foundations, emotional foundations. Um, maybe foundation in the relationship could, could be shaken up by this you know remember that the snake it can be you know can peel itself and it gets reborn you know so if things are not working out this could be a point in time wherein you can change things because the old is not working the old ways is not working anymore or what you have been doing is not working so you know an opportunity might present itself that allows you to to do something about it i just kind of feel that something might open up for you this month of october so that is going to be good in its own way so um yeah if you do find this reading helpful please do like share and subscribe any comments will always be appreciated so um yeah for personal readings that are in-depth detailed and specific for you you can do that by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by chrissy.com all information will be down below this video and with that i end this i, I, I end this and we'll see each other again next month guys